All right. All right. So just some context. Uh, did this happen this week? Yeah, it happened this week. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, Corey Holcomb was on his podcast, 5150. Uh, 5150 podcast, and he was discussing his relationship with his daughter and uh, all the dynamics of it, of his uh, child's mother and his daughter. All right. And he got a little, a little, um, I don't know, a little Corey Holcomb. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, I, yeah. I won't say, he, you know, it's kind of how you do. Yeah, that's the only way to say it. All right, let's, let's go into the clip, man. Mama, I'm like, bitch, I ain't got time to hate nobody. Your mama was drama. Now, here it is all these years later. You just like your mama. Both of y'all can kiss my motherfucking ass. I go make another daughter. I don't give a fuck. If you ain't good as a person, no matter who you are, I have a cutoff switch God blessed me with to say, fuck you, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's my kid. My motherfucking mama, you know your daughter trying to get in touch with you? I say, oh, mama, you watch that little bitch. Ha! That little bitch, that bitch is brought up in this new generation where there is no honor, there is no respect thy parents, there is no, there is no, the way, the way the youngsters are brought up now, they will fuck over the mama and daddy quicker than they'll fuck over somebody in the streets. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck. If you are so hell bent mm -hmm. in making me a villain and saying I did you wrong, get the fuck away from me. I didn't love your mama. You just popped up on a nigga. <laughs> I try to show you love. I, shit, you come out here. I did all this shit for her. She was still talking shit. Uh, Corey, man. Yeah, <laughs> Corey, man. Bob, man. Yeah, yeah. He keep it. He, he, he's raw. He's raw, man. Your first thoughts, man. My first thoughts is... It's complicated, dog. Being a parent, being a parent of an older child is complicated. They're going to take you for twists and turns. Mm -hmm. But Corey was wild. Corey, Corey was wrong on that, you know? I mean, all right, let me start with the right. He was right where he should have a cutoff switch. When people do you wrong, you should be able to have some kind of switch where it's like self-preservation kicks in. It's like, yo, I'm not going to let this person run me through the mud, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, But you got to have a lot of grace for your children. All right, so when you said that, I'm like, all right, how do your kids run you through the mud? Like, all right, so before you go, mm -hmm. I kind of feel some of the stuff he was saying because I, I have a daughter that's, a you know, she's going to be 13 years old, and she... I don't want to say like just like you. Nah, she's not just like me <laughs> cuz she's a little more like I don't I think it's this generation of children cuz I couldn't say she's like her mom. I can't really say she's like me. Like she's a different she's a, she's really a different breed and the same way like she can give us that little pushback inside the house. But outside, with everybody else, yeah. she's the most beautiful soul, and she's, you know, she's never, she's not gonna talk back. She won't debate this, that, and the third. But with us, she will. She will. But isn't that healthy? Isn't that teaching her to have a home self identity and teaching her how to express herself and how to advocate for herself? E yes, it it does, but. You got to understand that as a young person, mm -hmm. that when somebody who has more life experience, okay. sometimes I can teach you something or I could tell you something that's good for you. Yeah. Like everything is not debatable. You understand what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and you don't really know what's debatable and what's not, but you should be aware, like, all right this person probably knows more about this than I do because yeah. I don't really know. Yeah. Right. You shouldn't just be 
quick to debate just to debate. Now, if you're well versed in something and you're a child and you might you you might know something uh, more, know more about something than I do. And that's fine. And we can talk about it and you can have your word. I can have my word. But my daughter, she's on the debate team. But she debates with us like probably even more than she probably does at school. You understand what I'm saying? I think that's that's amazing. That's someone who's going to speak up for herself. That's someone who is going to advocate for others. And it's not going to take anybody's word for it, you know, because someone could tell you, you know, something and it's not like what it is. A lot of like we just finished a whole segment of talking about cons conspiracy theories, you know, mm -hmm. people who believe in things that are fringe. They kind of kind of tend to <sighs> buck at the I don't know. I don't know. I'm not lost. Well, back to you. I get I get what you're saying. Because right. all right, I, 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 I could have formulated I'm, like I'm you. I'm saying I just I just made a statement that I question everything or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, I, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I have a problem with my daughter question everything, mm -hmm. right? But um, I guess I feel like when you question everything I say as your father, it's yeah. something different than just what the world gives you. You understand what I'm saying? I'm here to protect you, right? You understand what I'm saying? So you're underneath my protection and you know you're I, I shield you from a lot of stuff but yeah you, you have to you know i don't know if kids really realize that so they may give you their ass to kiss inside the house and then they don't you know they don't they don't act the same way out in the world you understand what i'm saying and i get what he's saying but i feel like that. that's the perfect mix of having i feel like you want to have someone with a strong personality someone whose personality is growing someone who, mm -hmm. who's you know everything is growing inside but outside they're they're respectful and, and they could conform with society you don't want them doing that to their teachers you don't want them doing that to to authority you want them doing that to to you your authority a, you know a bit you know but you don't want them out there bucking up at authority and bucking up at different teachers and all that i feel like it's the perfect mix where i feel like corey's coming from is um more like in the world yeah. worldview, you know? I feel like, I don't know. It kind of feels like we're not communicating well enough with our children. And there's a lack of understanding between the two, two of us. I don't know, bro. Especially the older ones. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Cause I feel like, uh, in my opinion, I think that we are a, a little more, open and transparent with our kids these days than our parents were okay you understand what i'm saying yeah. and we we realize that our kids learn things faster because yeah. of the resources that they have so i i don't know if i agree with that you understand what i'm saying i don't think that um that yeah, i think you made a statement about like us not really being open or, or communicating well with them mm. Uh, I think there's a lot more communication because like you just said, if they feel that free to sit there and debate with you over this or that or whatever, you know, things that they normally, they would have to do as a child, whether it be their schooling, whether they be their, the shit that they do at the house or whatever, right? I understand you want to be a free thinker or you want to like, all right, I'm, you know, I'm questioning everything, mm -hmm. but there are certain things that you, you still have to learn how to tread authority versus, you know, questioning, questioning. People who are good at things gravitate to other people who are good at things. I, I would take it as a compliment. Honestly, I feel like your daughter looks at you as a, as a sparring partner. Honestly, I think she, she looks at you as someone who she would like to think like one day, you know? And that's why she kind of sharpens her steel up against yours. I wouldn't, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that you're taking it personally, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, I think it's cool. Cause my youngest daughter is, is, is like that mm -hmm. asks and ask questions. And she, you know, she was on the, she was on the debate team too last, mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. And, um, she, she did um well, but she likes to ask a lot of questions. And I feel like with the internet now, 
and kids learning at their own speed and they can just do deep dives on certain certain, certain things mm -hmm. they're not going to believe everything someone tells them anymore and with conspiracies being such a big thing like people think the earth is flat now people think dinosaurs never existed <laughs> people think you know there are real conspiracy people think aliens was just in the mall in um florida last month you know what i mean people you look at me like oh they wasn't you look at this nigga. Ah, no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you go let's go you know so with the world being you know people i feel like when there's a healthy discourse in the home i feel like it's completely healthy it 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 can be healthy it can it can but I guess you got to take the good with the bad. 100%. You got to take the good with the bad. Because I know my daughter is, like, super smart. But certain certain times she gets on my nerves. <laughs> I can't. I'm not going to deny it. That's your ego, though. It's, it's, it, I, I guess you can call it my ego. Uh -huh. But How dare she? No, not even how dare she. Because even yesterday... We we had it was a situation that was going on, and I was reprimanding her, her brother, and I said, "You can't do X, Y, and Z." I wasn't reprimanding him. I said, "You you can't do this." Mm. And she was like, she jumps in and says, "Well, yeah, you can't do this because I'm doing this or whatever." I'm like, "All right, I don't need your commentary okay. on right. with him." Mm -hmm. Well, what he's at, what, he, what he's talking about, what he wants to do, I'm doing it. So why is it's about me? He saw me doing it, so now he wants to do it. I was like, all right, it doesn't have anything to do with with, with you per se. It's about he can't do that, right? So we get into a back and forth about that, and it'd be some of the most like arbitrary. They'd be like, why are we even going back and forth with this, right? Okay. And it's just is I think it's her nature, right, to want to just, you know. And I told her, I said, and honestly, yeah. I feel like that was just pull a ring. Okay, and I, I, I made a comment to her. I said, yo, me, I could do this all night with you, and I'll go in on you, right, if you want to. Like, if you want to debate with me, we can sit here and debate, and I will, I will go, I'll go hard at you, right? I don't think you really want that. Just stop. Just be quiet. Just stop. You understand what I mean? And I got to tell her that. I had to tell her that multiple times. But I don't know if I get the good, you know, smart, whatever, all that other shit. If I don't get that side, it's like you got to take that with that. I might not have uh, that the good side without this side that I can't that gets on my nerves sometimes. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. sometimes we have healthy debates where it's, it's it it makes sense or whatever, and we can go. But then sometimes it's like you just questioning just the question. Like you just you just buck. You ever start the debates? You ever pick on her? Uh, Be honest. Probably. <laughs> probably, I probably do. I'm not gonna lie. I probably do, man. I probably do. So you, you guys are alike. Listen, I would rather raise a, a spirited personality, but a respectful personality mm -hmm. than a pushover. So agreed. You know, agreed. Yeah. I'm All right. Like, so you know, let's get back to Corey. 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 All right. Corey. Corey. So I think that. Let me ask you this. If you take away all the bitches out of the cut, like, all right, and is he, was it that bad? No, if you, if you take away calling your daughter a bitch, then <laughs> it wasn't the worst. Because you can't let people walk all over you. Kids are not. Mm -hmm. You got to have a line where it's, you know, a bit of self-preservation. And it's got to be a line of sink or swim for your kids, too. Like, you, you know, you see stories of parents who enable their kids mm -hmm. of, of, for doing you know help them do bad things you know and just never step in and never and just get walked all over and all that so in order to stop that from from from, from happening you have to have a, a certain level of self-respect and self-reliance where you got to put an end to, to mm -hmm. certain act, activity but and we gotta we, i don't know we have to we have to be aware that we're just hearing his side we don't have that much context because mm -hmm. She might come out on social media a day or two later and say, like, well, this is exactly what happened. But he didn't really give any context of what happened. He well, just, she's probably super hurt that her dad used his platform to go at her like that. And that was kind of crazy. And I feel like that was irresponsible as a parent. Like, now you're trying to go viral 
Cause like, let's I'm look not, at I'm it at sure what it is. is. You're going viral mm-hmm. off of shitting on your daughter. And that's nasty. All right. He Any way you look at it, wrong or right, you're you're wrong. Now all the good points get washed out with the bad. He didn't necessarily say lie. anything specific about her. Right. He spoke No, he, no, you called her a bad person. You said that your mom is calling you to reach out. She's in the, and you told her don't trust that bitch. And then you also said that um her and her mother, you and her mother never got along and he, you you know she 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 just kind of popped up on on you guys. So now you're letting this human know that she was unwanted and and un. I mean, I don't know if anybody knows that they're unplanned, but you know, yeah, her, her whole existence really doesn't mean much to you because you know you didn't really care about her mother. And this is where a lot of women today get a lot of their issues with men because mm-hmm. they were let down by the first man that was supposed to be there for them and was supposed mm-hmm. to love them. Agreed. They didn't have that dad in the house to debate with and to sharpen her skills up against and, and to look up you too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You just got someone who called you every couple of days or, you know, sent some bread and, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And anytime you kind of doing something that he doesn't like or you regurgitate something that, that your mother who doesn't like him either mm-hmm. and who's shitting on him in, in your household, something kind of comes up and you say that to him and it triggers him. You know, it's terrible. Like, you know, I, I feel like this is poor. This is this is poor 